really the undisputed leader in avionics, Garmin, on this episode of Taking Off. Hey everyone, Dan Milliken here. We're continuing our series from Air Venture 2021. And we got a chance to sit down and talk with a representative from Garmin about what's new, what's different, and what sets them apart. Jim Alpizer, aftermarket aviation sales, is here with me. Jim, thanks for uh, talking to us from Garmin. Yep, great to be here, thank you. Okay, what's new for 2020, 2021? 2020, 2020, we'll combine it together. Yeah, it's we been might crazy, as well. crazy couple of years here, but uh, honestly, we've uh, introduced a number of great new products over the past uh, year, year and a half. Um, the, the, we've got a brand new uh, navigator, a GPS nav call, called the, uh, the GTN 650XI and 750XI. Um, it's kind of building upon our uh, historical products, the GTN 650 and 750, with some great new enhancements that we just introduced for this show. Um, we also have a uh, innovative, uh, newer uh, uh, electronic flight instrument called the GI275, which is a very scalable, retrofitable instrument that can replace a lot of older aging analog instruments in the aircraft as well. The, the 275, you guys talked about that, uh, didn't you release that like a year ago? Was a, yeah, it was an announcement for kind 2020. Kind of a soft because yeah. of 2020. Because of 2020, a lot, not a lot of people have had a chance to see it. So this is really the first major show that people have been to to be able to interact and see it. And we've also been making improvements with that product along the way as well, which we do with all of our newer generation uh, products. So 275, I have a 345 and a 430. How do you keep the numbers straight in your head? <laughs> it's, it's a secret decoder ring I have in my okay, brain. Okay, yeah, you must have to have an, do you, is there an app to be able to decode all the different Garmin numbers? I just visit our website. We've got a lot of great information out there. But yes, yeah, so an app would be really helpful. What's new? Yep. So the newest thing we've done, quite honestly, is uh, last week we introduced a technology called Smart Glide. Smart Glide. And okay, so this is kind of like the Auto Land for the uh, the people that buy the new planes. You have something now for all of us in GA. Yeah, and so Smart Glide is a. Uh, um, Think about it, it's technology that helps the pilot in the case of an aircraft emergency. So if you had an engine failure in flight, basically with one button press, um, Smart Glide can uh, basically find your best nearest airport uh, to land at, start you navigating there immediately. Uh, it will engage your Garmin autopilot. It will take your frequency uh, that you would need to communicate to uh, for that tower or uh, CTAF frequency that uh, of that airport you'd be flying to puts that into your standby. It's going to take your transponder uh, code uh, and make, a, with one additional button press, allow you to squawk 7700 for an emergency. So we're really automating a lot of complex tasks for the pilot uh, in the case of a, a distressing situation like a loss of power or uh, engine failure. Okay, wow, that, that's, that's really cool. I didn't know you guys had that. Uh, you know, I think about in that drill in my head and practice, engine out in my Centurion, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I repeat, 85, 85, 85, that's yep. my best glide. It, but you know, to keep that while you're dealing with, okay, in, emergency engine checklist, everything else, oh, I'm not at 85 anymore. Having something like Smart Glide would, would take a huge load off at a time you yep. don't need the load. And the beauty of, of Smart Glide technology is it's leveraging uh, products that, that many customers have been installing for the past you know, couple of years. So it's a okay, Garmin. Okay, so what, yeah, what do we need? Yeah, so what you need is a Garmin uh, flight display. Uh, could be a, a G5 attitude indicator or the newer GI275 okay. electronic flight instrument or a, a larger format uh, G3X touch flight display okay. or G500 TXI flight display. We have a lot of variations. To a, lot of right, a lot of numbers. A lot of numbers. And you're starting variations. to throw X at some of the numbers, <laughs> right. But it's, it's really all intended to offer scalable solutions for customers. So we, we cover a very wide range of price points. Um, so somebody can kind of fit, find something that fits their budget and fits their need. But the great thing is, um, again, with this newer technology, including the, the GTN 650 and 750 XI series, right. uh, we're basically then able to add on additional functionality at no additional cost for customers. So Smart Glide is something that thousands of customers who already have equipped with the, these solutions um, can get as a software upgrade. Uh, and if they want to install the optional button, they can. Uh, but that's $129 for a, a really nice safeguard button. button. One button press activates your autopilot, starts the turn towards that nearest best airport, pitches your aircraft for best glide, uh, takes care of the frequencies, and, and really kind of takes that monkey off the pilot's back of managing a, an emergency situation. So if I have a Garmin display product, then I don't need to 
pay anything extra for this new Smart Glide. Yeah, if you've got the qualifying products that, that are compatible with it, which is a number of products, uh, as I rattled off there just a moment ago, right. then you're, you're, all you need is to... So it's to, free. Yeah, it's, it's a free upgrade. Uh, all you have to do is get the new software inside of it. Um, so you may have some installation charges for the new software through your, uh, your Garmin dealer, but uh, other than that, it's good to go. A lot of people see Garmin as the uh, the 800-pound gorilla, the big, the big, you know, nobody doubts they're number one in the space. Sure. Um, some people say, oh, Garmin, you know, they uh, you buy a Garmin and then you have to rent it from them after you've bought it. You know, what would you say to that? I, I don't agree with that whatsoever. Uh, we actually think of our products as an investment for the future. Okay. And in conversations that we have here at AirVenture uh, with a lot of aircraft owners is, it just makes great sense to, to invest in, in the newest technology that's available at the time you want to do an aircraft upgrade. And by making that investment, um, you're really kind of paying it forward for future enhancements like SmartGlide. Uh, so right. somebody, somebody who bought a GTN a year and a half ago, just basing that decision on, I want the, the newest thing I could get, um, they're getting additional capabilities at no additional cost. And, and so that's, that's what Garmin does, is we create value-minded solutions and continue to improve those solutions over a number of years in the future. I think those who would say that can't argue on the quality of, of what Garmin yeah. has. And I also think the quality of our products stands apart from a lot of the other industry players as well, where you know you buy a Garmin product and we support the heck out of it. And you know, we've we introduced the, the GNS 430 and 530 over 20 years ago. Yeah. We still support that product today, if you can believe that. I mean Nobody has cars that are that old. Nobody has computers that are that old. But guess what? We support the avionics that were installed over 20 years ago in the aircraft today. Wow, wow. What about the disruptors? We're starting to see a lot more uh, people, especially, I guess, in the non-certified space, the the eye levels with the bomb and their AHARs and, and some others as well coming up. How do, how do you guys feel about the disruptors? Yeah. You know, I think it's great that, that innovations are happening all across the industry, and I applaud the, uh, the innovations that are happening outside of Garmin. Um, but Garmin really does pride ourselves on, on being a disruptor as well. And, oh, really? And, yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, You guys are the disruptor. Well, I feel like we are. I mean, and we've got competitors that, that I'm sure uh, some people view us as the, uh, the, the, the small fish in the big tank. But uh, we, uh, you know, we, we compete with uh, you know other big companies as well for integ larger integrated flight decks and even the smaller uh, products as well. So really, all varieties of products. And I think we're all keeping each other honest at the end of the day, and uh, um, we uh, we kind of thrive on each other's enthusiasm to oh, serve good. the marketplace. Good, good. We touched on quality. What else would you say separates Garmin from any competition? You know, quality and support. You know. Um, the, uh, the support of our products is, is second to best. And I think of those teams as, as actually two separate things. So we've got okay. um, the, you know, does the, does the product break? Inevitably, products you know, can break, and, and we're not immune to that. Um, but when something does break, what do you do to make it right? What do you do to fix it? And how long do you offer those fixes out in the field? And that's the support side of the house. And, and we, uh, we really do pride ourselves uh, on that. Uh, ranked by two independent uh, publications, uh, ProPilot and AIN, have ranked Garmin number one in product support for the past 17 years running. Wow. And that's going up against some big fish, including you know, the Rockwell Collinses of the world, the Bendix Kings of the world, the Honeywells of the world, Avidines, the, you know, the UA Bionic. And you guys are number one in service. For 17 years. Support. Yeah, for 17 years. Wow, wow. So uh, we're, we're trying to do something right in the world. Last one I'd love for you to address is, um, that I hear some people say is that, well, I would love to buy a Garmin, but my buddy Joe has his own avionics shop and he's not a, authorized to do it. Okay. Uh, what, what can he do? So uh, we are, um, we do have a Garmin dealer network and right. we're always taking applications for new uh, Garmin distributors and dealers. Uh, we do have a vetting process that we go through as part of that. So you're quality controlling through this? We are, yeah, we yeah. absolutely do. Because there are people out there that maybe shouldn't be putting avionics into your airplane. Yeah, and we, you know, it's, a, it's sad at times yeah. that we do have to, to you know, um, kind of separate ourselves from people we've been partners with, uh, you know, for either a short period of time or even a long period of time, but we do have quality standards that we hold our, uh, our installers accountable to, and. Um, through that, we want to basically build confidence that if you go to a Garmin dealer, you're getting the, the right quality. They've got the right training. We offer 
uh, incredible amounts of training uh, to these installers. Oh, wow. And you, you said earlier, you know, can I get a secret decoder ring or an application right. so I can understand what all these terms are? They know that. Think about, yeah, think about these, these folks that are doing the installations. They don't have to know just Garmin, they have to know all these other players. And so we really try to partner with the best uh, from that standpoint. And we, uh, we offer training through you know, major trade show associations as well as uh, we bring folks into our Olathe, uh, Kansas headquarters as well where uh, our installers can go through hours and hours and hours of training. And actually, in fact, it's required that they do that on a regular basis. We're here at Air Venture 2021. What are the show specials that you guys are offering? <laughs> we are uh, we are offering a few things here at the uh, at the show uh, as a uh, as special incentives. We actually uh, for our watch series, our D2 uh, Air and our D2 Delta series of aviator watches, uh, we do have discounts available just for those that are uh, actually. Buy it online or buy it here at the show. You okay. get a discount. You can online. do it online. You, you don't have do, to be at the show. You can do this one online. Uh, we do have some on-site incentives as well. So if you're uh, if you're getting a uh, GI275, which can be available as an engine monitoring system as well, uh, we have uh, $250 off of that. And additionally, we do something here at uh, AirVenture called Seminar Bucks, and so... Seminar Bucks? Yeah, so not only do we offer a uh, really unique uh, opportunity for customers to interact with our products hands-on, uh, we also have two seminar tents behind the exhibit here where we're running uh, presentations from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. all day, every day, about an hour presentation per topic, and you sit through one of those and you can save hundreds of dollars off of your installation. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. Uh, what was the thing I saw around on some signs about um, up, uh, uh, the map update? So, uh, database updates? Database updates, yeah. thank you. Yeah, we are doing something new, and that's another incentive that we have here at the show is um, we are offering database updates for the first time here at AirVenture. Okay. We historically have not sold those here, uh, but if you're a new customer or an existing customer, you can come by our exhibit and uh, sign up for an annual subscription or, or some one-time database updates, and we are offering some uh, specials off of those packages as well. So. In Lola, my 210, I have a 430W, and I, I, I'm coming. I've probably got another two months left on my yeah. annual. Um, so, would that benefit me? Absolutely. Yeah. So, I just bring my cards in. Um, we have a, a website called FlyGarmin.com. Right, I, and that's how I update the cards. Yep. And uh, so all you need to do is basically um, let us know that you'd like to renew your subscription or maybe you're subscribing through, uh, through Jefferson and you'd like to try Garmin Navigation Databases. Okay. Uh, we're offering special savings uh, for all customers and uh, yeah, you just uh, basically let us know. We've got a, a, a table set up over here where you can renew your subscription or you know, if you're transitioning to Garmin Navigation Database service, uh, we'd love to do that as well. Well, cool. Thanks, Jim, for taking time to, to talk with us. Yeah, it's exciting. Fun times. All righty. Thanks.